Welcome to Epic TV and today I've got my mug of tea and my biscuit and uh, I'm just preparing myself to have a little chat with Matt Hunter, bike rider extraordinaire. Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I, uh, there's a few snowflakes falling down, so probably uh, time to get out for a ride before it's too deep. Well, Matt, what we're going to do is we're going to ask you 10, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and we're going to try and nail that 10 questions, the usual format in 10 minutes. Question number one, have you ever wished you were British? Because let's face it, I mean, being Canadian, you get confused as being American all the time, and you get all that issues with, you know, you, you get out of Iraq and this sort of thing. Have you ever ever thought, God, I wish I was British? I, I can't say that that's, uh, that's ever crossed my mind, and I hope that doesn't hurt your feelings, but... Uh... You never had any hassle being Canadian, speaking well, that strange language that you do? My name is Joe, and I am Canadian! <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> You're right, though. Uh, I do. Uh, I don't like to be confused with Americans because, you know, I feel that uh, we try and keep it weird in Canada here, and we, we're a little different. And uh, when people think you're American, you want to let them know. Maybe you need to to work on your accent, on my Canadian accent, a little bit more, eh? Just say hey, hey, a lot and a, a boot. There's yeah, a of, yeah. There's a lot of bears, a boot. Two grizzly bears feeding in the in the meadow right there. Uh, the wide angle of the camera makes them look pretty far away, but man, it's always amazing to see a grizzly bear in the wild. Question number two, we're going to roll on. Question number two, uh, you're a pretty sick rider and you've got this in incredible name for yourself. Have you ever stood at the top of something and thought, I wish I was the photographer and not the rider on this. <laughs> All the time, man. All the time. Sometimes you wish that, uh, that you could be someone else and watch, the, watch, the, watch myself go first and then, and then do it after, but it also, there's a, there's a real excitement that comes with, uh, with being the person who gets to ride it first. How do you keep a cap on your nerves? I get really quiet and then I'm thinking all the time and I don't talk to anybody and then, and then it's time to go. Question number three, uh, you obviously travel a fair bit uh, doing what you're doing, riding all around the world. Uh, have you ever, ever chowed down and eaten, eaten some dog? Maybe just a few months ago. Really? Where were you? China. Oh, I thought you were going to we were... say in Kamloops. <laughs> like... no. China, no, we you're were, in China. Uh, I went to Beijing um, and uh, I was with... Uh, with a group, with a good group of riders, and uh, we ate a lot of stuff that we had no idea what it was. So hmm. I think maybe some of it was a dog. Well, <laughs> talking of animals, got a mouthful of biscuit. Talking of animals, have you ever? Could you go out in the wilds quite a lot? We've seen some films hey, right of now, you. Right now, I'm wishing maybe I was I was British. I don't have a biscuit or <laughs> any tea. And what do you say to a cop? Take off, cop! So um, continuing on the uh, on the theme of animals. Have you ever, uh, just have a look at this clip. <laughs> hey mate, do you, know, um, do you know where Fort William is? Yeah, sorry, sorry to disturb your dinner. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 1400 Whoa. quid bit of damage. Straight in my lens, scratched the front of it. That's it, 30 years of vegetarian, just came to a finish. There we go, so the so question number four is, have you ever been headbutted by a stag? That is absolutely insane, man. It, the, my only thought is, it's a pity you didn't get like a real nice big scar because th that would make quite the story. Chicks dig scars. Yeah. That was in Scotland, and uh, like that's as that's as rowdy as the as the wildlife get in Scotland. So, uh, but you must have had some crazy encounters in your in in the back country in in uh, Canada. There, ran into a cougar the other day um, on the run in for road gap. Cougar was running up the trail towards me, 
and we both realized what was happening at the same time and slammed on the brakes. Yeah, not not like Californian cougars. Uh, no, like you know. four legs kind, four legs. Yeah, four, four legs. I've seen some on four legs as well. <laughs> Got the bottle going, ah, you'll do. Uh. So uh, yeah, we'll move on to a bit of kit, kit talk. Uh, have you ever um, put a headset in your bike, but put it in upside down? I don't even know how you would do that. I, I've never done that. So, so do you do a bit of bike tinkering? You know, I mean, you must have a few issues with stuff that you put bikes through a pretty hard, uh, hard session every now and then. You must have a few issues that you need to get a set of spanners out for. Yeah, yeah, I like to use a hammer and vice grips mainly. <laughs> no, I, uh, I have a bit of a shop, but uh, I also have a good buddy who's a, a bike genius, so he helps me out. Keep it on the kit thing, uh, is a good one. Um, so you're out in the middle of nowhere, you've probably flatted three or four times, you've used up all your spare tubes, you might have ripped the sidewall. Have you ever had to uh, resort to stuffing your tyre with squirrels or something just to get you home? I've tried it with grass, man. Did that work? I never had any luck. It doesn't yeah. work very well. Yeah. But I, I've, I, uh, in an emergency, I usually just keep riding on the flat, yeah. unfortunately. Is that because you get free wheels? That's why, yeah. We talked about, uh, we mentioned Sterling earlier when I said hello to you, and um, Sterling Lawrence probably, well, he's, he's renowned as pretty much the uh, second best photographer in the world. Uh, when it comes to mountain biking. And um, I know you've done a fair bit of work with Still, uh, including probably what I think was the most like, amazing, like full on rowdy bike magazine cover with that huge uh, hip to wall ride. So you know Still pretty well, and, and I'm keen to know whether you've ever looked at him and thought, is Sterling the bastard love child of Woody Allen and Leo Sayer? <laughs> Because let's bring up Stirl now. Let's bring up Stirl. It looks just like him. Yeah, put those two in there. Look, right, look. Right, there we go. And Stirl does wear glasses like that. So, you never seen him in that light before? Well, I'm, I may not be able to see him out of that light now, so I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Question number eight, we're running out of time. Question number eight. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever wished it didn't rain so much in Canada? Uh, no, it doesn't rain much in Kamloops. It doesn't rain much in Kamloops. It's all dust, this is isn't the, it? So I don't, I don't live like on the the North Shore. Like all that stuff gets way too much rain. But Kamloops is like perfect. Sometimes I spend more time wishing it would rain more here. Yeah, just to damp it down, make it a little bit slippery. Yeah, yeah. but the dust is good for photos and stuff. Yeah, you never made it over to Scotland. Being chased by stags and ridden some wet, slippery Paul oh, William. I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a desert kid, man. Mm. Question number nine. Oh, we, we are running out of time. Question number nine. Have you ever wished you could be better? Yes. Oh yeah. Mm. Every day. Mm. Doesn't everyone <laughs> wish that? Yeah. Oh, don't know about that. Um, right. One more. Uh, question number ten. Uh, what's your best tip? for aspiring free riders. Oh, I'm gonna to have to stop you there where time's up. Thanks very much, Matt Hunter. You have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, tune in another time and uh, we'll see if we can uh, pull up somebody a lot more interesting uh, that hasn't got such a weird accent. Thank you very much for joining us. And, okay, cheers. Uh, let's, let's cheers. hook up. Cheers. You... cheers from Canada. Oh yeah, a moose mug. <laughs>